I'd like to thank the grace of heaven, the virtues of masters, compassion of our grand predecessors, predecessors, all transmitters, and every one of you for giving me this opportunity to learn to speak on today's class on immortal of purification. This is actually my second attempt <laughs> trying to conduct this class because last year I was also assigned this class and I got sick, had to leave, and Thai took over. And this year, again, I am sick. <laughs> so I said to see you transmitted Jin this morning, I don't think I'm qualified to do this class. You know, that's why I'm sick, every, uh, second attempt. So I'm trying, bear with me. So Immortal of Purification, she was born August the 13th, 1936. Uh, her name, uh, surname is Yu, and her given name is Wan Ming. Her courtesy name, uh, in the ancient times, that uh, every person born has a, a, a birth name and a courtesy name. But now, in our generations, we don't have that. So her courtesy name is Jian Hui. Hui is wisdom. Okay. Jian is to establish. So we can see if you know uh, Immortal of Purification, she is named really true. She is really true to her name, her courtesy name. Okay. Her birthplace is China, in mainland China. I think it's in Nanjing. So this was during the case of chaos of war. So in mainland China at that time, it's really very chaotic. So, 1939, yeah. 1939, so that, no, 30, I mean 36. She's 36. 36. Yeah, 36. So she is the firstborn in the family. She's the oldest. The She's oldest the in the family. Then after that is uh, uh, a brother. Da Yi Dian No, no, Da No, Da Yi Dian Chan no, no, Then Winnie, then Winnie. And then Winnie. Win, Winnie. Winnie, Winnie, which is yeah. the older of the two two yeah. Yeah. sisters, and then uh, yeah. no, Wen Wei. Wen Wei. No, Wen Wei is the, no, she's no, the youngest. No, no, she's, no, no, she's not the youngest. Than, she's older than, than Stanley. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought Stanley was the youngest. Stanley was the youngest. Huh? I just found out this morning from senior transmitter Jing that Da Yi Dian yeah, passed, passed away. Passed I had no you idea. Yeah, but you don't even know. He passed in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. In Taiwan. In Taiwan. He was in Taiwan. Oh, he, he, he moved to Taiwan? Well, yeah. Well, he, he was visiting Taiwan, I guess. <laughs> no, he, How old no, was he? he How old was he? You, you can see he moved here. Yeah. He's like uh, he's probably 80. 80. 80. 80. He was actually the one that gave me that, the transmission. Yeah. Oh, he passed away? I didn't know. Yeah, that. He, yeah, right. Just sent condolence, man. Well, no, I mean, no, I, the, no, because I, no, I had a call from Aunt, uh, well, she left a message. What, and I, yeah, I oh. called back, and the little transmitter talked to Xiao Yi but we were going to give like a, you know, one of those tian yi, whatever yeah, you yeah, call yeah. it, but, and then maybe do flowers, but then... Eulogies, I, eulogies. Yeah, okay, yeah. well... No, no, eulogy no, is no. a speech. No, it's like yeah. a... Like a home office. Like a, oh, a bai, yeah, yeah, bai jing. I know, I know what you call that. It's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. White apple. White apple. Yeah, it's white apple. But, uh... It's a condolence package. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Xinhua called me. Oh, really? And she's... Well, she wanted to tell me some stuff. I'm not going to repeat here, but um, did she go back for the funeral? Yeah, she went back. Um, but you know, then I said, oh, you know, yeah. we're going to send uh, you know this condolence thing. She said, she said no. The, the, the oh, I don't know. What, what she said was in Taiwan they don't do this. Some oh, really? people don't take it. Some families don't, do don't that accept that. Not even accept the flowers, whatever. So Serious? I don't know. It's just 
them. Yeah. Oh, they don't want to set anything? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Probably did, did. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, now, after, I mean, week, the week after, or I mean, after the, the back the event, usually it's not good. Not good to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, because yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. After, oh, time spent. You don't want to after. Yeah, yeah because it's like a reminder no, 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 I mean, after it was, it was the fact. The, oh. the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, at the age of 10, she followed her parents to Taiwan and settled in Tainan. Right. Her mother was lecturer Jiang, uh, who was very knowledgeable of the Confucius Four Books. She used to teach, conduct classes in Tongda, where everybody would attend the, the, four, book, the four book classes. She uh, passed away about two years before, yeah. before yeah, immortal purification. Yeah. yeah, and she attained down in 2001, and her mother was bestowed the title of the Ming Da Xian, the immortal of bright virtue. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, well, the, 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 she learned that from, from the Father Yeah, right. Most, most of the four books was taught. Was that the Jinjue who introduced her or her no. transmitting master? That transmitting master. Oh, okay. Yeah, you mean no, who? No, Mom? Yeah, yes, no, yes. Grandma. Grandma. Oh, no, yes. Should be. Probably. Should be. Should be. I mean, but she so. definitely learned, you yeah, know, learned with him. From that, the Jinjue. Yeah. That's, the yeah. Yeah. That's why she's so knowledgeable. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay, that's good to know. In 1955, uh, Immortal Purification uh, married to Senior Transmitter Jin, um, and she has three sons. <laughs> Very devoted to the Tao. Okay, so we have uh, Lecturer Kai, the oldest, and then Transmitter Ray, the middle, and then Lecturer Tai, the youngest. So they are more qualified to conduct this class than I am. Uh, character description, she was a very humble, elegant, uh, gentle, refined, and simple. Very soft-spoken, okay, and a very virtuous and noble person. She was hardworking and thrifty in running a household. So in 1962, she was introduced into the Tao by Zhang Lao Si. Oh, Zhang Lao Si. Zhang Lao Si, whom God later uh, bestowed the title of Guan, Guan Ci Da Xian. <coughs> Guan Ci Da Xian, immortal of vast compassion. And then afterwards, she brought the whole family. Uh, well, well, no, she did. I think it was Landy, yeah, she, right? I think she was. Yeah, Landy. Landy was yeah, her youngest sister. Yeah. Our aunt. Yeah. Our aunt first. Was I, again, because our aunt first learned first her. Tai Chi yeah, from from, this, from uh, the, the, the Zhang Lao Si, yeah, right? Right. Yeah. This person taught Zhang Tian. Yeah. Tai yeah. Tai Chi Tian. Yeah. Tai Chi. Some kind of Tai Chi. Tai Chi sword. Yeah. Tai Chi fencing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Landy, so Landy brought the whole family in. Yeah. 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 The whole family would include senior transmitters. Uh, yeah, 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 not yet. Not yet. Because, later. yeah, bec he received it after the whole family right. received it. <laughs> so in 1974, the family took vows to propagate down and immigrated to the United States. So as we know in the beginning, when you come into a different country with different language barrier, not knowing anybody. I just spoke to a transmitter Jin this morning. He goes, when he first propagated here, he did not have any relatives or anybody, nobody that can help him. Well, yeah. Was that Indian translator here yet? No. no. It came like uh, a few years later, yeah. Like uh, yeah. About yeah, eight, seven, eight years. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but so it was very difficult. Yeah, before yeah. us. Oh, Winnie. She, she, she helped. Yeah, she but they moved, moved to Oklahoma. Immigrate, yeah. Immigrate. They moved to Sponsor Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, right. But was Winnie living no, in New York? No, uh, yeah, for maybe a couple Initially, years. Initially, yeah. yeah couple oh, years. oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, 
that was you know one of the biggest barrier is you know not knowing people and the language barrier but as we can see Tao flourished here right so um your family the very first Tao pioneer in the US no no no, they were yeah, other just other well, lines. In our line, well, you can. We're one of the first in this area. You can say in the New York area. No, there's no, another group. I think there's another older, but that is a different group. No, but it's not Lao Chenin's group. No, no, yeah, it's not. Um, but yeah, yeah. Even though our aunt was here, she wasn't really spreading out yeah. any doubt. Yeah, so yeah. So um, they went, you guys went through a lot of uh, sufferings for bringing the Tao here. And no matter how much suffering, heaven always reward those that have determination. So they were very determined to propagate the Tao here. Okay. So she, immortal purification was always a very filial daughter to her mother. And when her mother became ill, I personally saw that uh, your aunt, Landy, and also your mom, Immortal Purification, they personally took care of her and nursed her uh, in Tongde, which was the original temple. Okay, so that I can vouch for because I saw how, how filial she was to her mother. Um, in 2003, August the 14th, uh, Transmitter Yu attained the Tao and returned to Absolute Heaven. Okay, so on Wednesday, it is her 16th year death anniversary. It's been 16 years already. How time <coughs> flies. It seems like it was only a few years ago. Okay. So... What I remember was that um, Senior Transmitter Trey used to ask her to propagate and help the, the Tao in New Zealand. And she usually go for half a year. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go and every year time and she goes, I'm so lost without her because she, she's gone for half a year. We don't hear from her. Well, I'm sure the family hears from her. But, you know, and then... Uh, one time when she came back, she also uh, followed transmitter trade to all the other s s uh, states to attend the Dharma class. So after that last time she came back, excuse me, I noticed she was very yellow. Her face was jaundiced. Well, uh, white face was very yellow and I was gonna tell her mate, you know sometimes sh we don't notice when it happens to ourselves because you, you see yourself in the mirror every day but because I haven't seen her for half a year I noticed something is wrong with her but I was afraid to ask her or because I was you were not here uh, transmit to Ray is out of state doing uh, jobs and Lecture of Kai is in New Jersey, and I, in those days, I don't feel that free to speak to him. So who do I speak to, right? So I every day I said, should I ask her? Should I talk to her? But, you know, sometimes a Asian people don't like you to say, oh, I don't think you're well, maybe you should see a doctor, you know? I'm afraid to say that to her. Until finally, this other uh, member, Fu Jie, you know her. She speaks what's it in her mind. She doesn't think twice. She finally approached her. I said, oh, thank God somebody spoke up. So she went to the doctor and they found her, uh, her gallbladder. Well, yeah, they initially thought it was just kind of obstructed. And so that's why the gall, the, I mean, the bile spread throughout. And so that's why they did that. Yeah, that's why she was yellow. Yeah. So then she had to go for surgery. Uh, well, yeah. I she went for chemo first. Well, no, no, no. The, 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 well, what? They didn't know it was cancer. They didn't cancer. know it was cancer yet because they just thought it was blocked. Yeah. 
locked up. And then, um, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, later on, no, I, I No, it was during the surgery process oh, that they, they initiated. Look at, then they, they found out that it was cancer. Oh, okay, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the something. I was yeah, with yeah. lecturer Kai in the hospital when they opened her up. Yeah, okay, yeah, so. Right. So, then they discovered yeah, and you were still in California at that time. Uh, no, yes, no, you came back. You, came back. Oh, you were all back at that time. Yeah. No, you were not in the hospital. No, no I wasn't. Maybe I was in the hospital. No, you were in Tonga. You were in Tonga. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, right, and then so, but then the, you know they said, oh, okay, so. Because of, I guess, the location of where the cancer was, they could not, they, they, they could they not operate. It was dangerous to I think it was because it was close to a very big very, artery. Very, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it, because it's very crowded <laughs> in that area. In, that's why in your in your uh, abdomen, abdomen area, it's very complicated because there's a lot of organs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and also, you know, big blood vessels. I mean, if, if it's in your leg, yeah. if it's in your lung, not as bad. You know what I'm saying? Lung is not a bad. Even kidneys not as bad because it's to the side. Because you're right in the middle, yeah, and that's so. why, you know, it's 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 very mid. It's it's dangerous. Very yeah, crowded. It's, it's, yeah, very crowded. Yeah. <coughs> so whatever. Yeah, uh, so yeah. couldn't operate. So then you know then decides oh, I'll try this, try these other like, chemo, chemo, whatever. chemo and then yeah. Did some radiation therapy. Yeah. So this was like in the course of a whole year, yeah. where she went through all these. Yeah, basically it was like around, I think uh, in 2002, around in the fall that was diagnosed, like maybe, I don't know, September, October, and then, then started kind of, kind of treatment. Yeah. yeah, so the doctor basically said, you know, historically, you know, statistically, it's, you, you know, it's about a year. A oh, year. yeah, that, that, a that year, was particular you know, cancer. You, you know, with that type of cancer, it's about a year, year and a half, almost. Yeah. Statistically. <gasps> I mean, you know, because it's, un it's difficult to treat if it's untreated, obviously. So, <laughs> because it could lead to, you know, m metastasizing, metastasizing. Yeah, yeah, spreading. Yeah, the cancer. because you're not, you know, even if you use, you know, uh, chemo, chemo, radiation, it's not 100%. Right. You know, it's not 100%. And there are also side effects. And, you know, so there's a lot of difficulties, you know, and that's the problem with cancer. <coughs> Yeah, and she went in and out of the hospital several times. So through her, uh, towards the last time that she was in the hospital, um, the what the last day that she was in the hospital, she uh, she wrote in a yellow legal pad. Did you put that in? She wrote in a yellow legal pad in Chinese. At that time. Lecturer Tai did not read Chinese. Now he's so fluent in it. <laughs> I wish he was fluent in it in those days. Yeah, no, I, I was there. Well, yeah. He was, yeah, he was at the hospital with immortal purification, and she wrote this, which means uh, hurry up, get your, your get transmitted gene, which is seniors transmitted to to come to the hospital because our holy teacher is waiting to take me back home. Is, did, did she say home? Yeah. To take me Wait back. Okay. To yeah. take me back home. Yeah. So Ty did not uh, I did, well, okay, yeah. understand the message. I didn't understand the message fully, but I, uh, but um, basically I, I told her that, oh, okay, well, it's pretty late. It's like almost 3 a.m. I said, oh, you know, I'll, I'll let them know tomorrow. You know, let the senior transmitter know tomorrow about I, yeah, I, I didn't quite. So let's, it was too late. I don't think transmitter gene can drive you at three in the morning. No, I, I don't know. Transmitter Ray no, wasn't here. Yeah, no, he well, wasn't I, here. I, I was, I he was, was overseas. I was flying Singapore. Right. <laughs> I was on my <laughs> way to Singapore. Yeah. So. Right. Um, so, so I said, uh, I'll, I'll wait till the morning to to, to call. Did she pass away? What she time passed did she pass away? No, in, so in the early. No, I was there. Yeah, in the morning, basically, there's another Dalkin uh, who visited her at the hospital. I, I came back home to, and then you know, got a call from her in the morning. 
and basically the doctor said it told her that yeah, it's it's almost time that you gotta let let them know. And so for that, so I told Kai to go over there. And I was still preparing because every day I would prepare like make Food. fresh juice, right? Using wheat that yeah, uh, wheat, right. wheat grass. Use wheat grass, right? That can help. Uh, so you know, I had the juice, whatever. So I was preparing that. Kai went. Uh, and so I guess at that point it was, it was already kind of, it was pretty, uh, her, her heart was failing, yeah, at that point. Yeah, it led to, I mean, that was the direct <coughs> cause of death. Yeah. It's your so heart. COD, heart yeah. Failure, yeah. Oh. It alert her. Yeah, basically, you know, the, because the cancer spread. Yeah, the stress is just too much. And, and yeah. start preventing. That's what I'm saying, all those failure. secondary effects. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and she was uh, only 68 years old. Yeah. No, 66. 66? 66, right? 36 to 2003. 66. Yeah, that's right, basically. 66. 66. Yeah, that's still young. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, and actually before that, I mean, the, she, she had a tube inserted. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Oh, you know, to, for the yeah, urine? To, to, not the urine, to drain the body. In case oh, it blocks okay. up again, they, they, they would they insert that. So it's it's not comfortable, it's not, I mean, it's not convenient. I mean, you wash, whatever, you know, you have a tube there. And it did get infected once. You know, that yeah, was, septic. Because it is hard. Yeah, and that, that sent her to the ice, the IU. Because again, she got this septic, you know, yeah. infection inside. So, so yeah, there it wasn't that easy. Although, uh, aside from that, I mean, the, during the chemo, she didn't really suffer that. I mean, well, maybe she didn't lose her hair. I mean, she, she still had her, her hair. hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she didn't lose any of her hair. Right. Initially, it was it wasn't it wasn't comfortable the chemo. So I think they kind of like toned down. I mean, no, they lowered it. The they changed. Yeah. 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 My mother had the chemo. Yeah. So. So on the day she passed away, uh, New York had the big black. The whole northeast. Yeah, the yeah. whole northeast. No, not, 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 not just New York. Canada. New Jersey, New Jersey, Canada. Ohio, right? Ohio, Even Canada. Canada. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because, because, because the power that, that power plant the, the started from Canada. in Ohio. No, no, it's that it's that utility in Ohio. Yeah. There, there's something broke and it affected the whole. You know, it has a. Basically, like a, it was due to the solar activity that the, the caused the, the problem. So it had a cascade of. Yeah. Of so I I remember car a lecturer Kai called me and he says, Jim, my mom just passed away. I said, oh no. And then he goes, there's a blackout. There's no traffic light. I said, oh, be careful, yeah, because he was driving. I said, be careful, okay? You gotta look both ends before you go through the light. And that it, I didn't realize, it didn't dawn on me that, you know, when, when, when a person that becomes an immortal or a saint, that there will be a revelation, uh, an earthly revelation, <laughs> heaven, heaven's revelation. So the blackout was the, the sign. Yeah, so it's like uh, symbol. Uh, symbol, yeah. Right? yeah. Right. It's it's like a very rain. heavy storm, storm yeah. rain. When the matriarch right. yeah, That's 1975. Well, it's the same 75. day as Chiang <laughs> Kai-shek. Chiang kai yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people say, oh, 72, yeah. 72, I think. 72. Oh, 72, 72. 72. Yeah. Yeah. This note, have, did you have a chance to verify with her what she really meant? Because I think we have different interpretation. Well, no, she, she, I think she first, she first wrote that Wei Dao Jia and Lao Lao Si Zai Dao. So, it means she's going home. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. It's, it's like Lao Si is coming to pick me yeah, up. Yeah, uh -huh. saying that the uh -huh. teacher is waiting for her to, 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 uh, to take her home. And then, she, and then she said, you know, hurry up and oh. she, she notified. Just FYI, okay, for those of us who receive the Dao and if we cultivate, right, when it's time to go, yeah, right. holy, teacher. holy teacher will guide us. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be there waiting at the, at the end. Take okay. us. Okay. Everybody? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if you call no, if you receive the Tao, the, the, the couple, couple, couple uh, 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 requirements, okay, uh, 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 conditions. One is you have to receive the Tao. Two, you have to cultivate. Okay. Okay. Now, it's tr possible that if you just receive the Tao, you didn't cultivate. It may be possible, holy teacher will be there. But likely, 
there will be some other sense, okay, mm -hmm. if, if, if you did not cover that. Okay, only people who have achieved certain level of cultivation, holy teacher, because that's, that's like a sign of respect. You know, holy teachers, you know, because he's the one who's in charge of the what post of the transmission of Tao, right? So any, 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 any matters relating to Tao, okay, <coughs> holy teacher's in charge of, we're right? His disciples. Yeah, 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 we're, yeah, yeah, so we're also his disciples. So it's like, it's like, yeah, it's, I just thought of this, it's like the Liu Tzu, Liu Tzu, carry Yes, him yes, yes, yeah, it, it's that, that it, it proves that there is some kind of, not, not only just affinity, but there's a direct link, a connection, a connection. So another way of looking at it is like saying, hey, you know, when you are like going on a new journey, you know, the the president is waiting at the other end, you know. So that's that's that proves that, you know, that's some honor. It's honor. It's honor, respect and all that. Now recognition. But, yeah, recognition, yeah, it's recognition. Now for those who did not receive the vow, okay, that's not gonna obviously happen, okay. You know, more than likely, depending on your karma, it could be a devil at the end, okay, waiting to take you to, you know, where, or whatever. No, it's true, it's but true. It's the, that's a fact. The, the horse the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, take you yeah the devil, that's a devil. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One, one of the well, devils. A, a creature yeah. from the underworld. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or no, it doesn't have to be the underworld necessarily. It could also be, that's right, there's hungry ghosts. No, they, uh, yeah. yeah, the hungry ghosts will go to the underworld. You're just on your own. Yeah, no, those are scary, no that's going. scary. And also, also, and people, because people have, have, have related, you know, hey, there's an American guy, that Thai in Ohio, right? He was the one who said it, that he, 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 his heart stopped or something like that. He said, he ended up in a very dark place and he saw a door, a red door that says, welcome to hell. Like I don't know, something like that. Um, something like that. In, the, <laughs> in the museum, the Museum of Modern Art, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Is it modern art? The next. MoMA? Yeah, uh, MoMA? you know, the one on 80, 80 something no, Street? No, Metropolitan. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, over there, if you go into the Asian department, mm -hmm. there is this door. Red door? <laughs> it's a black door. I didn't even know what it is. I said, oh, Ryan, look at this. And then we're both looking like this. Door to the underworld. I said, oh, get so away from there. <laughs> No, no. So, so that's what I'm saying. So, so you know, it, you know, and Lecture Liu said the same thing. Right? He says if we do not, you know, if the, obviously he says those people who do not, you know, receive the Tao, or even maybe those who receive the Tao cultivate, they say when it's time to go, right, your soul, quote unquote, right, the, when when it leaves the body, it it's not bright. The, 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 it's like all very dark and you get lost and it's scary, okay? Whereas if you cultivate it, everything is bright, everything is clear, you know exactly where to go, what direction. You're not lost, quote unquote. So, so, so he said that's, that's, that's the way it is, okay? So, you know, obviously we don't see that because <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, because we, we, we haven't, you know, had those, you know, whatever, you know, experience. Well, there are people with experience who passed on and then came Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. But, but without receiving down doesn't mean that you cannot go to heaven. But if you cultivate, because no, if you no, no, if, if Muslim who cultivate and they too cultivate to a certain level. No, all you must have the three treasures mm -hmm. to enter. Yeah, they enter. go to temporary heaven. Yeah, yeah they, they, they could go to temporary temporary heaven. heaven. That that's true. I say, I say it depends. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you, if you do good things. If you do very good things, if you are, you know, charity, all that, then yeah, and if you don't have the three churches, you will go to yeah, that's what I'm saying, there will be some saints, quote unquote, saints that will guide but holy teacher will not be the one guiding you. Okay. Alright? It will be some saints, you know, divas or you know, th those various, you know, divas and those levels, they can they'll take you there. Yes. Yes. So for example, a lot of the Patriots, you call it martyrs, martyrs, maybe that's a better term. Martyrs who do not receive the three treasures, then they will be going to those various, you know, diva realms, the temporary heaven level, they'll go, okay? That, that's true, they, they, they'll, they'll do that. Yeah, martyrs, right, we call them martyrs. Okay, uh, so in 
July the second, two thousand and four, uh, there was an affinity reunion uh, with Transmitter Yu, who is the immortal of purification. So it, this was at nine a.m. right here in this temple. Okay. Um, yeah, we just completed this. Oh, by the way, so um, in Tongde, all the people used to be, all the temple were combined, even different lines were all combined. We have one class every Sunday. So in those days, it was more in harmony. Everybody was more happy, okay? And then gradually, gradually, um, the other line separated, right? And then, uh, he kind of separated. And that is when Jigong Lao came and said, uh, start to separate all the temples. Who, uh, which transmitter is in charge of which temple, etc. So immortal purification was assigned to Tongda, which is the main temple. And Xiao Yu Dian Chuan Si was assigned to California. And Jing Dian Chuan Si, Jing Lao Dian Si was assigned to New Jersey. So um, then when immortal purification, uh, actually, uh, holy teacher later on says, uh, to sell Tongda, to sell the temple, and we all will come to this temple. And this temple used to be downstairs, much smaller, and it was established as a family temple in the back of the restaurant. So this temple was uh, established by uh, Transmi Transmitter Lina uh, Law and her husband, lecturer. Uh, Ling. So then they both decided at that time to tra tra transform this into a public temple. And then uh, Holy Teacher says to close Tongda, and this will be the main temple. And Immortal Purification at that time, uh, known as Transmitter Yu, was in charge of this temple from now on. Okay, so while she was uh, sick, this temple was not fully renovated, okay, because they had to renovate the whole building. So when she was sick, uh, she still come for the English class downstairs, uh, where she still sat with us and everything, uh, but she was weak, okay, and uh, she run this, it, you know, it's not easy to run this temple, but she ran this temple with such virtue that everybody respected her and everybody loved her. There was no, I mean, it, the, the whole system was very chaotic, but nobody was against her. Nobody was like uh, conflicting with her or anything, okay? This is not an easy temple to run, but she did it with grace and virtue. Always remember that. So when, when she passed away, this temple was still not finished. However, when this temple was finished, that's when we had that affinity, uh, uh, that, that, that reunion affinity with her. Okay, so in this uh, reunion, I guess you go. Okay, so in model of purification, uh, did the, uh, the sand writing scripture. And I can't read the Chinese, so whoever can read it. But it's, it means purify the heart and mind is truly difficult. As we know, all the scripture is asking every one of us to focus and cultivate our heart and mind. That's the most important thing. Transforming the chi while holding to the center. Okay. 
always have to remember to hold on to the center. Okay, it's the center uh, in everything we deal with. Okay. Aspiration with an aspiration and unwavering heart. And, oh wait, my, this part is supposed to be, how come it, what, what, what happened to this? Okay, so let's do it from here. To purify the heart and mind is truly difficult. Concentrate on transforming the chi while holding to the center. Establish a great aspiration with unwavering heart. Okay, never have an, a wavering heart. Become enlightened and immortal. Return to absolute heaven. And that's how one can become an immortal and return to absolute heaven, just like immortal of purification. Okay, so we should use her as our role model. For those of, you know, the very few small group of people uh, that are very honored and fortunate enough to have met her, to have learned with her, okay, uh, we are very honored to have been in her presence. And we will always remember that. So Holy Teacher also composed a song uh, with immortal, for immortal of purification, okay. Based on her character, okay, if we read the lyrics, humble as the willow, she was so humble. Nurtures like a breeze, she nurtures everybody that was in the temple, okay. So most of us learned and were motivated when nurtured from her. I can't see you. <laughs> Now, even yeah, at the, well, when she was, well, you know, yeah, I wasn't here most of the time, but, but when she was sick, I was here. But I mean, even when she had to deal with certain people who were kind of <laughs> difficult. <laughs> difficult, let's yeah. just say. Yeah, very difficult. You know, like a couple that they, they argue yeah. fighting all the time. So <laughs> you just kind of deal with those too. Um, yeah, especially. And, with those yeah. Uh, she still handled even, it yeah, even with grace. Sick, yeah, you know, she, she had to deal with that. And, and, but she did it and, and she wouldn't get angry, you know. And, and so. Always smiling, no matter how difficult the situation. Okay? So, uh, magnificent. Huh? No, she usually holds all her. She, I have never seen her angry. Okay, um, she's always calm, always keep a calm composure, okay. Um, magnificent as the morning sun. She's like, you see her and you just glow, you know. Fresh as the morning dew, nourishing sentient beings. She not only nurtures John, uh, Johnny and me, everybody that was in the temple. Okay, lovely as the lotus blooms. Divine music playing, welcome saints return, accompanied by divine beings. Title joyfully conferred by God, return home, vows fulfilled. So if one cultivates well in this human realm and we return back to heaven, all those uh, all those Buddhas and saints, okay, will come and accompany us back to heaven. And then we, when one cultivates well, we can, uh, we can return back to our original title. And this is what happened with Immortal of Purification. Her original title is Immortal of Purification before she came down into this earthly realm, okay? Uh, so, a holy teacher describing her is so accurate. These are her good qualities. For those of us that know her, Johnny, right? We, we still remember her as is. So, um, 
she also uh, in her sand writing uh, not yeah in her sand writing it was a long sand writing how, how many hours two hours two. were you there okay so uh, it was quite long okay I was here uh, she congratulated uh, to Happy Buddha Precious Temple to set up the ceremony and she said this is one of her concerns okay about finishing the building she, she never got to see it but I'm sure she's here with us every single time okay she thanked the grace of heaven virtues of the matters uh, the masters that today this temple has been accomplished perfectly her inner heart and mind is happy and love it immeasurably she thanked the relatives and friends that took care of her when she was sick. She so moved and she shed tears of gratitude. She thanks you transmit to Trey for motivating and encouraging her to propagate the Tao to New Zealand. So as we can see, propagating the Tao elsewhere, she benefited greatly after she returned to heaven. Okay? She was awesome. She was also involved in an accident once. Yes, in New Zealand. Is that one with light? And yes. 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 Lighting. Is that when she almost died? Lighting. Yeah. 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 That's an awesome Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting too. Yeah, but uh, immortal purification, nothing happened to her. She felt like yeah. the saints of yeah. Buddhas were covering her. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. Then she asked Senior Transmitter Jin to let go of all the emotional entanglement in his heart and mind. Okay, uh, Heaven will naturally have a good plan for everything as long as we keep good Tao thoughts in our heart and mind. We have to obey everything. Every transmitter receives a transmitter's book of certification, right? Because I think they have a seal. Am I right? Uh, what just, is that? It's just, just called, a, it's just called a the propriety book. book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when she passed away, nobody knew where she kept that book. Okay. They searched the temple left and right everywhere. Not nowhere to be found. But in this sand writing, she revealed exactly where the book is. Okay. So um, she says the book is in her room in the second shelf, uh, in a white bookcase, in a notebook, with a waterfall scenery on the front of a brown paper bag, if I guess a folder. A manila envelope. A manila envelope. Next to the Confucius four books, right? And I guess you found it. Because they have to return that book, yeah, back to the main temple yeah. well, or the government. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> to Taiwan. <laughs> you're, given, you're given the book to, um, when you become a transmitter. Like you can right. mandate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, turns yeah. Yeah, it, is, it is to represent the mandate. Yeah, it's, it's just a form. Yeah. 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 So, so who do you return the book to? Well, te technically, the, the main most temple. senior. Yeah, the where you got it yeah. from, technically. Yeah. I see. Okay. No, well, where you receive the mandate, right? which is Fortune Mountain, <laughs> Fortune uh, Mountain Temple, or whatever. <laughs> do we have Ban Tao? Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, she asked Transmitter Jin, Senior Transmitter Jin, to forgive her for all the crawls they had as a married couple and for all things that didn't go as he wished. Okay, because senior transmitter Jin in those days had a very strong character. Okay, so she was more humble and you know like the old traditional uh, good wives. You know, just stay in the background. So she said that she was younger than him and didn't know how to think like him. So hopefully he can forget all the unhappy things and only remember the good things. She asked for his forgiveness and to thank him for the worries and great efforts he had given for her and her family. She called for her three good children 
and we just let you cry, transmit to Ray and let you tie. She said she felt sad to see that her sons were very busy and very tired from the construction of this temple because we were all physically involved in the cleaning and the sweeping, remember? And the shopping, and it's, it was endless, okay? So it, it breaks her heart to see her three children like that. So, but it's okay, she says, but it's okay because heaven is very fair. As long as one work hard, have good thoughts, then there will be good rewards. She said when she was in this world, she was very strict with high demands from them. Was she? I guess she mainly wanted you guys to to be more sincere and devoted. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, she she hoped they will understand, and this is the frame of mind of parents. Okay. So she hoped they will have good accomplishment in society, and hoped they will be able to have good understanding of the principles in the temple. She must be so proud of you now. Mm -hmm. Now that she is no longer in this world, uh, they have to take care of themselves. Do not let her worry. You hear that? Mm -hmm. That means do not eat processed food. Processed food. <laughs> eat healthy food. She also hoped they will improve and progress even more in the Tao community to earn merits and fulfill your vows. Okay? So cultivate Tao starts from humanity. Therefore, human relations are the most important. She hoped that all the three brothers will all be filial to their father, to, to all live in harmony, and also to take care of their health. Okay? So uh, she says, my experience with trans... Oh, okay. So that was the end of the sand writing. She talk to, I mean, yeah, she talked to each individual. She called each individual yeah, person. Okay, yeah. She didn't call me. I was so heartbroken. <laughs> 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 your grandmother called me, I, but I wasn't here. But I was here for, for your mom, but she didn't call me. Okay. So and I said, like, oh, call she didn't call me. She didn't call everyone. She probably forgot about me. <laughs> no, she, called, she couldn't call. Yeah, she only called a few. She, yeah. called, she called a lot of people. Okay, so um, actually your grandmother sand writing, I was sick at home, and she called me, she go, the weather is cold now, you must dress warmly, so <laughs> I said, how does she know, right? But your mom did not call me, but at the end she called all the Tao members in Happy Buddha Temple, so I guess I'm inclusive in that, okay? Yeah, as a group, yeah, so my, since we still have time, let me talk about my personal relationship with her, okay? So, uh, in those days, when I first received the Tao, uh, I remember it was on a Wednesday in 1989. So, it was in Tongda, and she was not a, tra a transmitted master yet. She was a lecturer at that time. So she did not talk to me because she know that I only speak English. So she did not talk to me, but she stood out, out among all the people that were there. There were at least 10 people there. But in my mind, she stood out. I still remember her hairdo, okay? So she did not have the same hairdo as when later, okay? So she had like a soap, like a page boy, okay? So she stood out, very soft-spoken, okay? I guess, to me, she was very classy. That's why she stood out, okay? Um, I, I received the Tao, and I never came back. And then once in a while, I would come with my introducer to Tongda to pick up stuff, and she would ask me to stay, but, you know, I, I don't know what the Tao was, nobody ever talked to me. So, I mean, the, the three treasure was explained to me in English, but I didn't understand it, okay. So, uh, every time I, she sees me, she's very, very uh, kind to me, and always smiling. And then, uh, it was not until the Dharma class that I 
get to see the real her because it was two full days, right? Then after that, I have been going to the Tongda every single Sunday. And everything I know in rules and regulations was taught by her. Everything I know about the temple was taught by her. Okay? Um, every problem I have, she's always there to talk it over with me. Whenever um, I'm home, I can't come, she will always follow with a phone call. Always looking up, make sure I'm okay. And uh, she always take care of me. So in Tongda, every, it's not in Tongda, in every temple, the first and the 15th before, we have to clean the temple, okay, from top to bottom. Then in Tongda has the brass lamps that needs a lot of polishing. I didn't want her to clean the lamps and polish. So I go and help her. And Ryan didn't want me to go by myself, so he comes and help me. So it's like two generations coming to help. So every first and fifteenth, like we would help. Um, however, I did not know you have to go. You females cannot go up to the altar to clean, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And uh, transmitter, you never told me. <coughs> and. Oh, by the way, when I first met her, everybody called her Da Jie, Da Jie, because she was the oldest of the family. Everybody calls her Da Jie. So I follow and call her Da Jie, Da Jie, too, <laughs> because I don't want to be special. <laughs> Nobody calls her Lechuru Yu, nobody calls her. Only Da Jie, Da Jie. So I only call her Da Jie, Da Jie. And then she became a transmitter. Then we changed to transmitter Yu. Right. So, uh, when I got sick uh, in the hospital, she was the f first person I called. And then she goes, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Lao Tzu will be right next to you. I said, I'm not worried. I'm not even scared at all. <laughs> I didn't know I have time to cut or anything. But she tried to comfort me on the phone, right? And then she even wanted to come to the hospital to see me. I said, no, no, don't come because this is not a good place to come. You know, I didn't want her to come to the hospital. It's all the way in Manhattan. So she, uh, she listened, she didn't come. So she always follow with a phone call to make sure I would go back to the temple. Because my doctor would not let me go out of the house for three, four months. Because I have to take a chemo drug to flush out all that cancer in me. So my doctor did not give me an okay to leave. So I told her and then she would want to make sure that I am not deviating from the doubt. So after I, my doctor okayed it and I come back, so I still go back, right? So I still go back to clean and everything. And then uh, one time I fell down the steps. Remember I told you the somersault? Remember I went up to the altar to clean? And then I lost my step backing down, and I made a somersault and fell on the floor. And she goes, oh, are you okay, are you okay? You know, and then after that, she told me, you know, maybe you shouldn't go on the altar because females are not supposed to go on the altar. That's the time she told me, okay. So then after that, I never go back. So if you notice when I clean this temple, I, I wish I can go up because nobody goes up there to clean, okay? But the most I can do is get on the ladder and then reach whatever I can to the Buddha statues. But, um, yeah, she actually, I was, you guys don't know that, but she actually asked me to be the middle person to transmit messages to you guys. <laughs> Because I guess as a parent, when you talk to your children directly, it may create conflict, okay, or harsh feelings. So she, a lot of times, <coughs> Mr. Kai here what? in the English class, he used to work out of state. So he never comes 
to the Sunday class on time. Yeah. He will come when the class ends. <laughs> so who ends up running the class? Me. I have no idea how to do it. I was not even knowledgeable <laughs> of the Tao. I had no idea how to speak. So she always tell me, go tell him, go tell him, go tell him, you gotta be on time. So I remember I used to approach you and tell you that. That was from your mom, not from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you remember, um, when she, this is a time when she already was sick. She told me that you already, you already came back. And she says to me, you never tell her when you leave the house. You never tell her where you go. She used, she used to tell me, I have to let you know when you leave the house, you have to let her know where you're going, how long you're going to be. So she doesn't worry. Remember I told you that? You don't worry that. <laughs> well, I did tell you that. That was also from your mom. It wasn't from me. <laughs> okay. So I used to be the middle person between the, not transmit to Rich, he never gave me a message for you, but between these two. Okay. And also, um, like sometimes she would need things like, like her uniform is all worn out, and she need maybe a new skirt or a new jacket, because she need to, to look decent. This is before she got sick. She used to ask me to buy things for her. So I was her personal shopper. So I would buy several outfits, because I don't know which one she likes. I would go pick up a few, I bring it to her, and she would choose one, and then I would return the other ones. Okay, so I was her personal shopper, and I feel very honored to have done that for her, okay? And I miss her greatly. She was like my mom in the temple, okay? Um, I, I was closer to her than any of the transmitters in the temple, including senior transmitter Jin. I was closest to her. Okay, she was like a mom. And when, when I, okay, sometimes when I go to those herbal doctor, I need those herbal medicine, she voluntarily says, let me take you. Because you know, I have a language barrier. I don't know what I'm buying. She want to make sure I'm buying vegetarian because sometimes they put bugs in it, right? So she says, let me go with you. So she will always come with me, okay? So yeah, I miss her greatly. I still think of her all the time. So um, today I feel very, very honored. I finally got to do her class, <laughs> even though I am not qualified, okay? I hope this so, is the second time you are talking no, first time. No, up, up there. Oh, maybe sitting oh. down, yeah. I, I yeah. did not have, you know, like that. Maybe just talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Was so. it the one who dreamed that she was wearing a white dress? I never dreamt of her. Oh, I did, oh, I did have a dream of her. What did I dream? I don't remember. We were sitting on a table mm -hmm. out there. I don't remember now. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I transmit to you, I will be right back. And I think I said, I think this is like, when she was lunchtime, I said, are you hungry, are you hungry? And she lifted up something she was eating or something. I don't remember. I did have one dream of her, and that was it. I did not dream of her in a white dress. Okay, I, I don't dream too much. I don't dream at all. Okay, I don't dream. But that dream came. But now I don't remember it was so many years ago. Okay. Did you ever dream of her? None of you? Kai, did you dream of her? I'm not. Yeah, no, I don't like dream. You did? Yeah. What did, do you want to share your dream with us? <laughs> Is it very personal? No, but uh, well, it was it was a little bit. Of, I don't know. It's, it seemed to me at that time, you know, oh, okay, it was just you know the natural thing to do. But later I thought, like, oh, it seems like I don't know. I, it, what I dreamt was this. I don't know when I dreamt it. Okay, but it was not probably not long after she passed. 
that long. Did she have a message for you? Uh, no. What? I mean, to me it seems very, I don't know, cruel now that I, when you think about it. What I dreamt was, okay, well, I saw her come. And then she came to me and, you know, she didn't say anything. She came to me and then I said, oh. Uh, I was the one who responded. I said, oh. Did I, what did I say? I said, oh, well, why are you here? Shouldn't you be in heaven? <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Something like, it, it seems very abrupt, you know. It seems like harsh, you know. And she just smiled, and then, then that was it. She, she, you know, she then faded away. Did she wear a white cap? No, no. I, I didn't. I don't. I don't. I didn't notice her uh, what she was wearing. But uh, you know, I don't know. It, it seems like you know. Uh, when I look back on it, at that time I thought, oh yeah, it's natural, you know, you, you know, you're already gone and, you know, you, you should be, you know, in heaven. But later on I said, you know, why did she visit me? And then she probably like, oh, maybe she wants to you. She missed you. Yeah, she missed you. Well, yeah, that too, but also the fact that I just thought that, you know, she, maybe she wanted to say something to me or something like that. And that was... I, I remember she always pressed your back. Yeah. She wants you to have better posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she always push her back. You see, always remember that. Because nobody's going to push your back anymore. So you have to remember to stand up straight. <laughs> so, yeah, that was only one time that uh, I dreamt with her. And I said, oh, why are you still here? Like, still, like, uh, anyway, I'm sure uh, she's here with us yeah, yeah, every know. Sunday. Okay. So even though she's not here physically, she still want to make sure everything in Happy Buddha Temple is running smoothly. Okay. So she's here with us. She might be sitting next to you, right there. <laughs> Did you ever dream about her, Lecture Kai? Lecture Kai, you don't, you don't want to share anything? I don't think so. I don't remember. You want to you wanna tell a little no, bit about... Nothing. You want to tell... tell us a little bit about your childhood days with her? I don't have it. That's ancient history, man. <laughs> well, share hey, something hey, don't with have, us. Don't have the three minds, you know. <laughs> oh, jeez. He has to put the Buddha nature into everything. Johnny, you you know her. Well, I didn't have, yes, I knew her, but um, we didn't have too much communication really because of you spoke language, English language, yeah. Language, yeah. yeah but she was always very encouraging so to speak you know? yeah she encourages so, yeah. everybody so yeah. when, when you are you are you felt when she was around and you, she could see when she lost she just looked over and always give a nice smile and that's basically yeah. Yeah. So, you know, she she was actually the one that encouraged me to take the lecture. That's how I became a lecturer. Because in those days, there was no qualification with the test and, the, and, and how many years you attended. I was not even qualified to become a lecturer. But she, she's the one that encouraged me. She goes, if you become a lecturer, your dad can benefit. And that's why I took the vow. Okay. And um, in fact, uh, we used to go to Tongren, uh, their home temple in New Jersey for the Qing Jing Jing, the pure, purity and stillness uh, sutra. So we studied the whole book and we were towards <coughs> the end part. So this is, I think, the last few weeks of her life. She came to me, she goes, you have not finished the book. Why don't you come uh, every week? I will finish the book for you. Teach me the rest of the book. I couldn't. I said, she's in such bad health. I cannot take all that energy from her. So I did not say yes, and I did not say no. I, I said, okay, 
why don't you ask Tai? If he agreed to take it, then I won't come. But if he doesn't agree, I won't come. I said that to her. So I, I could not ask her to do that. She was so sick, you know. It's not that she was sick and she can't move around. She's not. She's just normal but weak. Okay. So, and, and yet she still think of me about my learning, right? Is like still so selfless. Only think of other people. Um, yeah, the, uh, those not that many people of uh, in this temple knew her. Only a small group of us. Um, lecturer, lecturer, uh, Luke. Yeah, and his so. wife. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Transmitter Low no. and her husband. Yeah, because. Uh, they're not, they're no, they, the they, never met they never entered the They never met her. They never met her. At that point, yeah. Rong Dae Chan Si. No, uh, Transmitter Lin. Transmitter Lin and his wife, Judy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She also... But those, they're not, know, very, they're not that close to Dao yet. They're not yeah. Only yeah. Judy. Judy, yeah. Judy, yeah. Judy, she motivated her because Transmitter Lin refused to receive correct, the Dao. Correct. So I think your mother was the one that was supporting her in the back. And she was the one that, that guided her and helped her through the whole process. Okay, so, yeah. Who? Uh, Henry, I don't think Henry, he, no. I don't think he was. He entered no. the bow yet at that no. point. I don't think he did. He did not. He did not. That, not that many people knew her. Oh, uh, Wu Suzhen. Wu Suzhen also. Uh, lecture Chu, of Chiu, course, Chiu because Chiu. she she was the one that that brought lecture Chu in. Right, she's the introducer. Yeah, I still remember she always lecture lecture Chu. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> I still remember because she's more uh, strict with her because she brought her in. She's very strict with her. Yeah. Mm. And who else? I think that's about it. Just a few of us. But I'm sure each one of us has only good memories because there wasn't any bad memories with her. Okay. Um, yeah. She just, we will never forget her. And those days, the, the classes was like now every Sunday was alternating Sundays. Yeah, English class was only every two weeks. Yeah, because I, I was too lazy. Oh, he... <laughs> it's okay. It I, okay. Every time there's an English class, oh my God, you have no idea how stressful. As it stinks, man. I you have, have to, no idea I have to do every, every one of them. So that's I don't know anything about the Tao. I have then, to cover the back class. Then there was nobody. He never shows up until Back then there was time. nobody. Back then there was he nobody. Because he hesitated to flight. Where were you coming from? No, I was coming. No, I was living in central Jersey at that point. Oh, well, that's yeah. not that that's far. Like a, no, it's like almost a two-hour drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. so on weekend you should have gone back to Cameroon. Kerry does it too long for the week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's not complaining. And she's always on time. I complain every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, she complains. No, but she's always on time. But you never on time. See, you that always time come I wasn't that end. very motivated in the <laughs> I was I was I didn't enter the Buddha nature realm. Yet. Yeah, that's why your mom always said, "Go talk to him. Go talk to him." I said, "About what?" So I just I guess mind to mind, you know. I just understood what she meant. So then I went and talked to him. But I, I still trying to figure out in those days when you come every two weeks. The class wasn't long. The class was wasn't long. long. It was two because hours. It was I, just, <laughs> yeah, but still, I just cover whatever I can cover. Hours. I have no I, idea what I cover. But then the and sometimes I your mom downstairs. would say, yeah. what are you saying? I have no idea. One hour? No, it's two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. It's, it's, it's like two hours, so. 10, 10 oh, to 12, so, or roughly. Yeah. 10 to 12. Yeah. Roughly 10 to 12. Even now I have trouble. Can you imagine in those days? And nobody was there to help. The poor in but, attendance. But the oh, we had we had, had at least people. over ten people. Had, oh. but it's different groups. Different, group. different group. Different people. Because in those days, I used to call every single yeah. week. Yeah. I used to make phone calls every week, yeah. and 
at least 10 would come. Sometimes a little bit. All, all Caucasian people. No. Well, the hardly any Chinese. No. We have a few Spaniards. Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. Well, you yeah. know what I mean, like Spanish. English speaking. Uh, there Those was, are they're known there Nepalese. Was, they're not, no, they're not there was one Chinese. Hold on. Okay. <coughs> uh, if I say anything wrong, I, 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 I